Suspense. Shaley? Here it is, Courtney. The Blue Panther, eh? I'm getting worried about you, Shaley. You're late. My plane getting to Frisco was late. And on the way back at the Chicago airport, I caught a couple of guys watching me. So I switched planes just to be safe. First time I ever played bodyguard to a painting. Hmm. Well, you understand, of course, Shaley, that the Blue Panther is not our property. It does not belong to the gallery. It's the property of the uh, private collector whom you met in San Francisco. So? So, we're going to retain your services as private detective until uh, after the pre-showing in the general exhibit. Then, you will fly the Blue Panther back to San Francisco. In other words, this is my baby right through. Precisely. Okay. But, uh, just one thing. Yes? My fee. My dear Mr. Shaley, the Blue Panther is a collector's item and irreplaceable. We're not going to quibble about your fee. Now, about this uh, pre-showing, mm. when's that? Well, uh, that is going to take place tomorrow afternoon by special invitation only. You see, uh, there's going to be a very select group and you won't need to be there. The general exhibition will begin the day after tomorrow at 10 in the morning. Ah. Oh. That's what I've been playing nursemaid to. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Shaley. You like it? You, uh, want my honest opinion? No, of course. <sighs> it's divine! Isn't it? It's divine! Oh, it's divine, Mr. Courtney. Oh, you like it, Ms. Uh, my dear Baroness. Oh, such texture, such vitality. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a coup for your gallery. It's a triumph. Oh, thank you so very much. Au revoir, Baroness. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, congratulations, Courtney. Oh, how are you, Bannerman? Well, as an artist yourself, you would appreciate a work like this. I, as an artist myself, it only makes me more aware of my own limitations. <laughs> it's magnificent. Ah, uh, someday I hope to be able to paint like that. <laughs> but tell me, Courtney, how did you ever talk Oak's engine into loaning you that? Well, my dear Bannerman, you know these private collectors. You, you flatter them. You tell them that the world deserves to see the Blue Panther, and with these gentle powers of persuasion... <laughs> Well, Miss Standish. Good afternoon, Walsh. Nice to see you at the gallery Thank again. you, Walsh. I've been away too long. Oh, Edward, the invitation. Where can I find Mr. Cordman? My dear Miss Standish, this is a wonderful surprise. It's so nice to see you again, Mr. Oh, Cordman. Oh, thank you. One of our most discerning clients, and you haven't visited our galleries in months. Uh, well, it's just that I've been traveling. Oh, I know. I've seen your photographs in all the newspapers. Paris, Venice, Rome. Well, there it is. Isn't it superb? Perfectly wonderful. So, this is the Blue Panther, eh? Oh, oh, Mr. Uh, Courtney, this is a friend of mine, Mr. Malloy, Mr. Edward Malloy. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Malloy? How do you do? Uh, how much is it worth? 
Oh, it isn't for sale, Mr. Malone. Oh, everything's for sale at a price. How much? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I didn't make myself quite clear, Mr. Malloy. You see, the Blue Panther is not our property. It belongs to a private collector who wouldn't sell it at any price. <laughs> You'll have to forgive Mr. Malloy. He's an expert at so many things, but, uh, but I... Oh, yes, I quite understand, Miss Sanders. <laughs> but won't you go out on the terrace and have a drink? Thank you. Come along, Edward. <laughs> When are you going to learn you can't buy everything with money? Now, Marjorie, darling, money bought this, didn't it? And this. And it's going to buy you a wedding ring, too. Do you enjoy being a bore? Sometimes. Why, you think I upset him? You didn't make me feel very comfortable. Well, after all, Margie, dear, let's be practical. Your father left you two million. Two million in debt. But you've got what I want. Class. And I'm willing to pay. Now, where's the drink? Sunburst. He must have grabbed it off my neck and run. Oh, I don't Sanders, know. I'm dreadfully sorry this happened. Now we're going to make every attempt. Well, don't just stand there. That sunburst cost me plenty. Why don't you call the police? Oh, yes, yes. Now, please, please. How much more just one moment. Where are standing? What happened? I'm standing right here. Oh, Come here. Look. Oh, no. Standish, I assure you the Van Cleek Galleries will do everything in its power to recover your jewels. Thank you, Mr. Courtney. We'll keep in constant touch with you. Good night. Yes, good night. Is that uh, Marjorie Standish? Yes, and it's about time you got here, Shaley. I persuaded Miss Standish not to call the police to give us another day. Bringing the police into this would only give us bad publicity that we don't want. Oh, if this breaks into the newspapers, the reputation of our gallery is ruined. We can never borrow another painting. There's a crowd here. A lot of people must know it's missing. No, they don't know. I blocked off the exhibit and canceled the pre-showing. Shirley, this is your responsibility. I engaged you to protect that painting. Ah, you told me I didn't have to be here. I'm not interested in what I told you. Look, I want you to find that painting, and I want it back here by tomorrow morning in time for the general exhibition. If you don't, it's all the... right, all right. Now, don't get excited. I'm not excited. You just can't seem to understand. Now, wait a minute. Doesn't matter. Now, look, Courtney. Maybe I don't know a thing about art, but I do know about crooks. I just leave that end to me. Oh, well, then do something. It'll take a lot of doing, Courtney. Well, anyway, one thing's plain. This was a real buddy-buddy gimmick, but cute, very cute. The same crook who stole that painting was working with the crook who snatched the diamond sunburst. Oh, we don't care about the sunburst. I know, I know. There's just one thing I've got to know before I start. What is it? If I make a contact, and if you want to keep this whole thing quiet, I may have to pay off. Buy back the Blue Panther. How much? Well, now, we wouldn't like to get involved. Hello, quit storing. There isn't much time. We can't pussyfoot now. How much? Well, we would be willing to go as high as 15,000 to get back the Blue Panther. Now we're in business. Hello. What is it? The Blue Panther? Who is this speaking? I tell you. I'll handle it. Hello, this is Shaley, Ben Shaley, private investigator. Put me back with Courtney. It's about the Blue Panther you talked to me. I'm in charge. Okay, start talking. Where do we meet? Boulevard Gym in a half hour. Just ask for Lenny. Lenny? Hmm? I'll be seeing you, Courtney. And uh, you better stick around and wait. I may need a lot of money in a hurry. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm Shaley. How about that phone call? Stick to my manager. Well, what do you know? Hello, Shaley. I didn't know you went in for art, my boy. I've bought a lot of things, Shaley. Fighters, wrestlers, art. This is my newest investment. How do you like him? I've seen him. Plenty. Beat it. I think you heard his feelings, Shaley. Lenny's very sensitive. Now look, I didn't come here to talk about pugs. Let's talk about paintings. Okay. How did you know I uh, wouldn't bring a flock of cops? Cops? Why? I'm just doing you a favor. Besides, Courtney's scared to death about this kind of publicity, and you know it. Just as simple as that, huh? Just as simple as that. Okay. Let's get to the point. Now, you've got this blue pen. I haven't got it. Who has? A friend of a friend of a friend. When can your friend deliver it? Tomorrow morning, if he thinks the price is right. How high is right? $15,000 and no questions asked. Shooting pretty high, isn't he? He? Your friend. Just what the traffic will bear. You see, I already called Courtney to find out how much you pay. Okay. Where can I pick it up? Right here. Tomorrow morning, about 9 a.m. Oh, and uh, bring the cash. I'd like to do the gallery a little favor and have the painting there in time to go on exhibition. You know how it is, Daly. Yeah, I know. I'll be seeing you, Malloy. Hello, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. That's right. Then Shelly talking. I understand you're interested in the blue panther, Mr. Shelly. I could be, but uh, I didn't get the name. It's Smith. I see. Now, uh, how did you know I was here? That's a long story. You want the blue panther, don't you? I do. But, uh, I just made a deal. Yeah, I know. How much did Mr. Malloy want? Who? Mr. Malloy. Fifteen thousand and delivery tomorrow morning. I'll do better. Ten thousand delivery tonight. Interested? Why shouldn't I be? It's a better deal. I see you in now, Mr. Shaley. There ain't no better. I promise. Second act of The Blue Panther. Miss Standish. So you're Miss Smith. Now I've seen everything. So uh, you were part of this act too. Naturally. 
drink? Okay. We, uh, we alone? Of course. You're a very suspicious man, Mr. Shaley. Apparently, you have no faith in what anyone tells you. If I did, I'd starve to death. Now, let me get a few things straight. By all means. You and Malloy and Lenny pull this Blue Panther heist together. You with a decoy. But this thing. Excellent, Mr. Shaley. The only question is, Miss Smith, who's got the painting? A man named Jones. I see. Jones. Only, uh, one thing bothers me, Miss Smith. What's bothering you, Mr. Shaley? Why are you double-crossing Malloy? Well, let's just say, um, for personal reasons. Okay. Now, about this Blue Panther, you got it? No, no, I told you I didn't. Then who has? Jones. Oh, I forgot, it's good old Jones again. Now, uh, how do I get to meet him? You produce the cash, Mr. Shaley. Ten thousand dollars. After that, I'll pick up the phone and call Mr. Jo <gasps> All right, Margie, dear, where's that double cross I hired to lift the painting? I don't know. Say that again, see how foolish it sounds. We drop by his apartment to pick up the Blue Panther, but he doesn't live there anymore. He's hiding out somewhere with that picture. Where? I told you, I don't know. Here we go again. Same old broken record. Lenny. Yeah? Maybe she'll listen to you. <laughs> All right, Margie, dear. Now let's start from the beginning. Where's that phony you fell for? He's at his studio. In a fine arts building. Uh, Lenny, keep an eye on him till we get back. All right. Bum before I bash your brains in. Why not, Filming? Thanks, Buster. Thanks for everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this was one of the greatest fights that ever was. Now make it good. It's Marjorie. All right, Bob. Inside. Now, let's have that painting. Very nice, Bannerman. Very nice. I didn't figure you and Margie here would fall for each other and try to cash in at my expense. How could you throw me over for a phony like this? It was easier than you think. What are you going to do with that? Collect, naturally. From Shaley? Shaley? I'm doing business direct with Courtney. 15,000 and no questions asked. Shaley can whistle.
Courtney. He was in his office. Courtney. Courtney. Here it is, Courtney. It was in Bannerman's studio. I had a tough time getting it, but it won't cost the gallery a dime. <laughs> oh, well, I'm afraid you made a little mistake, Shaley. What do you mean? There is the real Blue Panther. The real Blue Panther? Yeah. And what's this? Just a copy and a very bad one. No, I'm afraid, Shaley, that uh, Mr. Bannerman made a very foolish man out of you. Bannerman? Yes. He was here just a few moments ago, and I sold him the genuine Blue Panther. Yes, I gave him $15,000 in cash, in very large bills. And Bannerman painted that? Yes, yes, I think he did. Some time ago, probably copied it from a reproduction. You see, he wanted to palm this off on Malloy. He knew that Malloy didn't know anything about art, and unfortunately, neither did you. You were both, as you would say, uh, suckers. Now, he wanted to palm off the copy for $15,000 and then hold me up for an additional $15,000 on the real Blue Panther. Yeah. So it seems. Yes, unfortunately, Mr. Bannerman has no sense of ethics. He wanted to profit twice. <laughs> well, of course, I had no compunction about the money I gave him. What do you mean? I took the trouble to mark the bills. From now on, Mr. Bannerman probably will be painting from his studio in Sing Sing. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, Cheney. Uh, your check for this uh, job will be in the mail in the morning. And I suggest that you invest part of it in a good elementary course in art appreciation. Good night, Cheney. seven hours, a story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Exciting, Man Against Crime, on the CBS television network.